Hello everyone and welcome to the Smite Art Show. My name is Hyra's Enna and over here to my left Seven I have Hyra's David who is just crazy. No. To, uh, he's he's awesome as always. All right guys, Let's two things Two things that we want to talk to you about before we jump into the artwork. Uh, one of them being your new challenge for this week will be diva gods. Just diva the, the crap out of your gods. Just make them diva-esque and what is it? Divalicious? Like this this guy. Fergalicious. Not fergalicious. Divalicious. All right, just do whatever you want with it. And second, you guys have noticed that we've done a new format with the show where now on Fridays we release a longer, drawn out version of the art show. So hopefully you guys like it. Please leave comments down below and let us know. We want your input and we want to make sure that we give you guys the best art show that we can. And we're so sorry for screwing it all up all the time, as always. But hopefully you guys like it and you get as much artwork as, as we can give you. So let's jump right into it. Action. All right, guys, welcome to the art portion of our little little freak show we got going on. This first piece is by Daniel Pinilla. Wait, before we start talking about the art, I just want to say, F. Dot, that was the weirdest impersonation of me I have ever seen, what are and you I talk loved it. David, what are you talking about? That was that was you. <laughs> that was me in my listen, leveled up form. Listen, you need, to, you need to calm down. You need, you need to stop calm. eating sweet tarts. But yeah, guys, this first piece is by Daniel Panilla, and it's Bacasura, and it's such a beautifully clean, traditional piece. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm, I, yeah, it just takes over the entire uh, notebook, which you guys know we love it when you do that because that's to just edge, a lot. Boo. I know, edge to edge. That's fucking. Right. That's badass. That's. <laughs> It looks really good. Beep. Beep. Yeah, all right. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Production, get on it. Uh, but uh, this is just beautifully done. Right, and your mark making in this is on point. On fleek, on as the children say. Um, on point. If you, I don't know what grade you're in right now, but if you get to college and you have any chances at taking an etching class, your mark making skills would be perfect for it. Absolutely. It's like you basically draw into like a copper plate and then print it yeah. it's a fantastic time but this would look really good on that so mm -hmm. excellent job daniel really such a good job it's nice to see like a close-up of his face is it it's kind of scary it's a, it's a handsome handsome toothy grin this next one is by erica's and oh my god guys it's a freaking environment you right? guys never give us environments and he actually on twitter he tagged me and he was like here you go an environment because you always ask for it and i do and thank you I wish Gavin was here because Gavin would be super excited. Uh, oh my no, God, this is no amazing. No one wants Gavin to be here. Well, yeah, he's still at the follow-up for for his um for his baby hand for surgery. His baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is absolutely it's beautiful. It's a good joke. It's a good joke we got well, you, there. You know. <laughs> um, and this, he told us that it's Olympus. It's a nice, beautiful shot mm -hmm. of Olympus from mm -hmm. like a pond or or from lower down, and it, it's just beautiful. The great. composition of this piece is great. It's from perfect. where it goes, from like really obvious colors and very bright colors and then it kind of just descends into the the, the depth of the piece right so the further back you are the the more light it becomes right your atmospheric color choices are spot on yeah. in this piece and yeah the composition i can't i can't stress how perfect it is it's because wonderful while you have all of this ri these rich tones towards the bottom You'd think your eye would get stuck there, but because your composition is so nicely balanced, mm -hmm. your eye just shoots straight towards Mount Olympus, which That's is perfect. where the focal point is. So. Exactly, but everything else is just framing it beautifully. So good job, Eric. Yes. This next one is absolutely my favorite of this week. Mm -hmm. This is by Jordan Ray Morrison, and it's Sir Ket, Nuwa, Neef, and Scylla, and I, Aphrodite? I think oh, no, that's it's hell. hell. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I love pieces that really reward the viewer, right? Every time you look at this, there's another detail to look at. Like, um, the first time, I was like, oh, my God, Scylla looks really cute with her dogs. But then you look at it again, and there's a manticore on Sir Ket's lap. You look at it at it again, and yeah. then like these little details, like Hell's Hood right there in that negative space between yeah. the bush and Sir Cat's tail. That way you know, like you have to search for who that character mm -hmm. is because you typically see them with the hood on. But this piece is just so pretty and it's so cute, and we love that Jordan Ray Morrison is utilizing that dynamic of the um, of Sir Cat and the Manticore because they work so perfectly. Right, the two tails. Yeah. yeah. Excellent job, Jordan Ray Morrison. Really good job. This next one had me so happy. Oh my god, this is by Maria Luz Manrique, and it's Thanatos. <laughs> Damn, that Thanatos is so good. 
<laughs> no, it's obviously no. Kronos, as you guys know. Yeah. Um, I love this. It looks like it might have been... It looks like it's woodwork. I mean, obviously, the uh, the clockwork staff and everything is woodwork, or like tiny balsa wood, but um, everything else is just clay molded. Right. And it's beautiful. The detail is insane. I love that she gave us process shots. Yeah. I don't know. Like, when I look at artwork, I don't necessarily always enjoy it for what it is, but yeah. I love being able to see a person's process in a oh, piece. Yeah. So literally seeing the process yeah. is like everything. Especially something that is that is visceral and you can grab onto right. like like a sculpture. So this is just excellent, guys. We we love seeing this stuff. Maria, this is absolutely my favorite. Um, Jordan's was great, but like I love seeing actual sculptures or molds being mm -hmm. done. So great job. And the little smile. Pulling in Thanatos, you cheeky. Yeah, you did that Thanatos mask so good. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this next one is by Matthias Hi. Wentink, and it's a mirror. It's just like a nice classic, I think it's a 3D model of a mirror, but I really like that he went and he actually sculpted it to look like ice, so right. it's see-through. The translucent yeah. quality is really nice. Which yeah. is great, because a mirror, he has like ice beard and everything like that, and all these ice qualities, but most of the time he's, he's a very solid, um, finite kind of, kind of a texture, you know? So this is really nice to see. It's a new type of thing. It reminds me a lot of Asim Shrestha's work. So, this is Matias, like, this is our new favorite. Like, this Good. is wonderful. Good. Good job. It's so icy. Oh, so ice, ice, Okay. This next one is by Paul Quintero, and it's neat, but it's like super stylized. It's almost right. in the tone of a, of a stained glass window. Mm -hmm. It's super Art Nouveau. Like, yeah. the patterning is like super Alphonse Mucha, which is really great. Mm -hmm. um, I totally. Like, I'm a super fanboy of that art style. Yeah. Um, the profile is, it's so almost demure. It is. Right? Like, But the stance of it is, is like the head up. It, it right? might be demure, but it's still very powerful. Yeah. Like she's got her head up like, try me. It's amazing that try you me, don't sucker. see her eyes, but her pose in that profile is just so evocative of emotion. Yeah, for sure. That you don't necessarily need the more expressive pieces of the face to tell that story. Exactly. This is just beautifully done, Paul. Really, thank you. This next piece is by Philip Boucher, um, and this is just the Fire Titan. Don't mess with me. Attack the Titan. Which you know I wouldn't, cause Boo, you're you're spiky to hell and back. Right, oh, God. you are literally on fire. Uh, uh, we're gonna have like five minutes of this audio, Eric, for your enjoyment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Production loves this. That's what they get for cutting me off in the last video. Anyway, this piece is just <laughs> great. This piece is great because um, it's just traditionally drawn, but instead of just pencil, you get colored pencil with it too. Really good shading, solid detail on it, um, possibly pen line work. I'm, I'm looking mm -hmm. either that or just like a thick brush right. stroke of, of the pencil. But um, yeah, this is amazing. Good job, Philip. Oh my God. Ah! Sarah Rudder gave us another adorable, just like terribly cute uh, piece. And this is Scylla with her puppies. And we mm -hmm. haven't seen Scylla from Sarah yet. Sarah's done Hell, she's done Neith, she's done Buck and Neith, she's done a bunch of different goddesses, but we haven't seen Scylla yet, so this is really nice. I love that the dogs have like a domesticated dog head instead of the like mm -hmm. typical wolf head. It well, just really adds to that cuteness. And that's Sarah's home. style. I don't think Sarah could ever draw something that's truly horrific and that's what makes her style really great and dynamic because she just sticks to the cutesy and that works for her and also the paper cut style we've already told you this we love this new style of yours definitely keep it up mm -hmm. good job sarah all right guys that artwork was amazing really well done and hopefully you guys like the new format so stay tuned for tomorrow the drawn out edition will be out and yeah leave your comments and let us know if you like it or not yeah down there all right and have a good weekend we love you so much